Hello friends, welcome to PharmaCam Insights. In this video, you will get to know ICH guidelines, basic concept and trick to remember it. So stay tuned till the end. Let's get started. What is ICH? ICH is International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Registration of Pharmaceuticals for Human Use. Please take a note, earlier ICH was International Conference on Harmonization but later in 2015 it was updated to International Council for Harmonization. So don't get confused. Also ICH is a project that brings together the regulatory authorities of European Union, Japan and USA and experts from the pharmaceutical industry to discuss scientific and technical aspects related to pharmaceuticals and develop ICH guidelines. Now let us see the categories. The ICH topics are divided into four categories and ICH topic codes are assigned according to these categories. That is Q, S, E, M. Q for quality guidelines, S for safety guidelines, E for efficacy guidelines, M for multidisciplinary guidelines. These are the four main categories in which ICH will provide guidelines. That is quality, safety, efficacy, multidisciplinary. In this video, we will focus on quality guidelines. Harmonization achievement in the quality area include pivotal milestones such as the conduct of stability study defining relevant thresholds for impurity testing and a more flexible approach to pharmaceutical quality based on good manufacturing practice GMP risk management is quality guideline. Now let us see 14 ICH quality guidelines. First is Q1 for stability, Q2 for analytical validation, Q3 for impurities, Q4 for pharmacopias, Q5 for quality and biotechnology of products, Q6 for specification, Q7 for good manufacturing practice for APIs that is GMP, Q8 is pharmaceutical development, Q9 is quality risk management that is QRM, Q10 is pharmaceutical quality system QQS, Q11 is development and manufacture of drug substance that is DMDS, Q12 is pharmaceutical product life cycle management, Q13 is continuous manufacture of drug substances and drug products and Q14 is analytical procedure development. Here is the trick to remember ICH guidelines. Memorize this sentence. Sai Pharma builds specific manufacturing practice to develop QRM PQ system. Their DMDS product life cycle is continuously developing. In this sentence, Sai represents first three guidelines Q1 to Q3. S decodes stability. A decodes analytical validation, I decodes impurities. Pharma decodes ICH Q4 guidelines pharmacopias. Builds in this B and T decodes fifth guideline Q5 quality and biotechnology of products. Specific decodes Q6 guidelines specification. Manufacturing practice decodes Q7 guideline good manufacturing practice for API GMP. To develop decodes ICH Q8 guideline pharmaceutical development. QRM decodes Q9 guideline quality risk management. PQ system decodes Q10 guideline pharmaceutical quality system. In the next sentence there DMDS that is short form for ICH Q level guideline development and manufacture of drug substance. Product life cycle decodes Q2 well ICH guideline that is pharmaceutical product life cycle management is continuously continuous decodes Q3 Q13 guideline continuous manufacture of drug substance and drug products 
and developing re, uh, decodes Q14 ICS guideline analytical procedure development. Now let us see some common question and answers. First, what is ICS guideline? That is International Council for Harmonization. Next question, how many countries are involved in making of ICS guidelines? So there are three countries involved that is Europe, Japan and United States. What is QSEM? The answer is QSEM means quality, safety, efficacy and multidisciplinary guidelines. Last question, what is Q3 ICS guideline? It is for impurities. Thank you. I hope this video was useful and informative to you. Please like, share and subscribe my videos and also show your support in the comment section. Bye.